Hey, what's up, Mortgage Pros? Good morning. It is episode 36 of the Ride Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, JJ, and today, you guys, I'm going to share with you six simple steps or tips, however you would call it, to make great videos that convert so that we can stay top of mind and stand out from a noisy social media marketing world. And this is important. So if you guys haven't noticed it already, tune everything in. Tune in, tune in, tune in. Put your headphones in. Watch us on YouTube. Watch us on, uh, listen to us on the podcast. You're doing one of the two already. Um, and if you haven't already, invite a friend over. Invite another mortgage pro- uh, professional over. Tell them about this thing. Um, I want I want to grow this thing and I want to help more people. But let's get, just jump right into uh, the lesson. Um, and let's get it started. So the first thing I do when I go to create a video, I always ask myself, what is it that I am I trying to sell? So for in your case, you guys, mortgage professionals, you got to figure out what is it that you're trying to sell? Obviously, if it's first time home buyers, maybe trying to um, give out a free ebook on like how to build your credit or how to bu- build a home and buy a home in 90 days. Um, maybe you're trying to sell FHAs or VAs or um, refis. Figure out what the end goal of that video is, whether it's to meet with more realtors, whatever that is, figure out that end goal. That is very, very, very important. Don't do anything else that I tell you after this until you figure out your end goal, because this is important. Number two is, once you figure out your end goal, you guys, figure out the theme that you're trying to go for. Are you trying to go for, um, so the theme, and what I mean by theme, here's what I mean, emotionals, what type of emotion emotional theme you're trying to go for are you trying to go for funny are you trying to go for sad are you trying to go for angry or frustrated or whatever it is figure out that theme and remember um to stay true to yourself if you're naturally a funny person stick to being funny if you're naturally a a serious person try to be a little bit different try to write out a script for yourself because you want to stand out from the crowd okay that is important so once you figure um step out step one figure out What theme you're going for, a.k.a. what emotion are you trying to go for? Now, here's another tip. Once you figure out what emotion you're going for, here's what I do. I go on YouTube and I type in that emotional theme that I'm going for, that's sad or whatever, and I'll look at what are the the top three um, most ranked videos for that emotion that's on YouTube right now. It's trending. I'll watch it, and then I'll start getting some ideas like, hmm, how can I use the mortgage niche? Um, how can I use this video and like turn it into something that's emotional or funny for the mortgage niche to entertain my crowd? Because you guys, if you're not videos that are entertaining, you're not going to build that audience that you're looking for and that brand awareness that you need. That's why Geico and Progressive do so well in State Farm because, I just mentioned all insurance companies, because they're funny. A lot of mortgage companies like Quicken Loans and Le- uh, Zillow, they all do the same thing and it's boring. Okay? So, um, it's canned. It's all canned. Um, so do that. Now, the, the, the fourth tip, actually it's going to be seven now. Now the fourth tip, now that you've looked at that emotional video, now go type in what mortgage professionals are saying. So look up the title of your video or, or whatever it is. Look up that, the whatever end goal you're trying to sell, like if it's first time home buyers, look up other mortgage professionals, see what they're doing. Don't copy them, but I just want you guys to see what they're doing and how they're doing it. And then jot down a couple of notes, some things that you like, something that you didn't like. And now once you've collected all that information, now you begin to start making it your own. And here are the steps so you can start making it on your own. So next thing you want to do is um, add music. Definitely add music to the background of your um, your episode or whatever it is that you're filming. Add music to it. It's, it's proven to help. Uh, keep attention span once you're done adding music another tip is add props you guys it could be a big a big old teddy bear it could be anything money it could be a suitcase something that is out of the ordinary that people don't see on see every single day that will capture their attention trust me on this just believe me if you follow these steps you will see a huge difference in your videos and your videos will not suck the next thing is the last tip is you guys Change your environment. Do not do the typical white background in a typical office that is so boring and people will just go to the next video. Trust me on this. Attention span in today's world is very, it's very low. It's very sad, but it's very low, especially in the United States. Okay. And if you're in a city like Massachusetts, sorry, a state like Massachusetts, New York, Florida, Georgia, in the city of Georgia or, you know, California, etc., Chicago, attention span is quick. 
because it's considered like a, a heavily dominated white collared area, white collared work area. So these people, their attention span is quick. It's not like you're in Ohio, whatever it is, where things are a lot slower. Okay. Um, once you do that, change your environment. Work. I mean, film in a car, film in your kitchen, film in your bedroom, film in a restaurant. Do something completely different that people don't see in everyday life that will keep people's attention. Trust me on this. If you, I promise you guys, if you do these five or six little simple tips that I just gave out to you guys, I promise you your videos will not suck. You will get more people to follow you on Instagram, up, so on Instagram or or YouTube, whatever it is that's wherever you're filming this video at. And on top of that, you're gonna stay top of mind. That's important. You're gonna increase your brand awareness, and another of that too, you're gonna have more conversions because people are gonna view you as the expert and the authority in your field. Now, don't do just one video and expect that you're gonna, you know, this is gonna start happening right away. You have to be persistent. You have to continuously post at least once a week. If you're on YouTube, at least post once a week. If you're on Instagram, at least post you know some uh, videos at least once a week. Same thing with Facebook or Twitter, whatever platform that you're using. Follow these simple steps, and I guarantee you, your videos will not suck. You'll get that. You'll get those views, and you'll get those conversions. All right, you guys. On that, thank you so much for listening to this ep- this podcast episode 36. I got some requests um, to not make videos too long, so we're gonna shorten these videos. If you guys have other requests of other things that you would like me to talk about or would like me to change or fix, I will do that. I actually do listen to you guys. I care about you guys. I want to always better serve you guys. So head over to the URI Marketing website, download your free ebook, get your free custom marketing blueprint plan. And you guys, I have something underway and I'm super excited to share this with you guys. I have a new consulting program that is cost effective that will allow you to scale, increase your um, volume of production. Without the cost, sorry, without the uh, the uh, the over the hassle and overwhelm, it's almost done. It's probably going to be launching out this week, the latest by Wednesday, and I'm going to send you guys all an email, and this is going to be really good. Um, and I think that you mortgage professionals are going to love this program that we have going on. Not that I think, I know you will. It's cost effective, allow you to scale, increase your um, volume and production without the hassle and the overwhelm. It includes the hassle and overwhelm. Is what we add on to that is an automated follow up system, which includes phone call, text, email, and automatic uh, automatic calendar integration. But other than that, you guys, peace, love, chicken grease. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast, and I'll see you next week with another one.